going to go through the uh, transfer process. You can see that I already have my drawing here. Um, it's all done in pencil or graphite. I need to try to transfer this from this paper onto a sheet of Bristol board or onto another uh, surface. To do that, I need either one of three things. I can either work with some transfer paper, I can work with a light table, or if you have none of those things, another good alternative is really just working with a small piece of soft pastel. To do the transfer process, I simply need a small piece of soft pastel and a paper towel and a ballpoint pen. Start it out on the back of my rough draft or on the back of my drawing. Simply going to go two directions, side to side. Top to bottom, and I should have the back of my drawing pretty well marked in. Now to fill those fibers up, I don't rub, want to rub too hard, but I'm going to rub in small circles all the way across, working it into the fibers of the paper slowly and softly. You can see that I have plenty of extra powder on top of that, or soft pastel. I'm going to simply shake that off into the trash can. To begin transferring, I'm simply going to put this over the top of my Bristol board. I'm going to find a place that works best. I know I'm going to cut this all out, so I'm going to find a place, try to get it near the edge, and I'm going to transfer each piece individually. So right there seems like a pretty good place. Now from here, without moving this, I'm simply going to use a regular ballpoint pen and some paper clips. Paper clips work well because I don't want this to move at all on some transferring. So I'll clip it wherever I can so that it does not move. And then I can be certain that my pieces will work out just fine. Okay. Now, using a ballpoint pen on graphite, ballpoint pen works well because then I can tell exactly which lines I have drawn, which ones I have not drawn, without lifting up the paper at all. One piece transferred. All right, you might be wondering exactly why it is that I have not traced over all of the shapes on here. That's because I know that once I cut these out, they can then become, be used as templates and traced or transferred on separately or individually so that they repeat predictably on the next piece of Bristol board.